On this training mission, we will learn how to employ the basic modes of the autopilot system on the Dassault Mirage F1EE and CE. Two aircrafts are provided, so you can practice on either model, as their autopilots are identical. The mission syllabus includes the following sections. Autopilot bindings, the autopilot control panel, autopilot modes, and engagement limits, autopilot engage and disengage, attitude, altitude, and heading hold modes. This training series is set on the Syria map, and the approximate mission time is 20 minutes. Press spacebar to begin. The Mirage F1 autopilot is essentially a computer that generates corrective commands for the flight control system, adapted to the current flight conditions of the aircraft. While the autopilot operates basically by commanding the main flight control surfaces, stabilators for pitch control, ailerons and spoilers for roll control, and rudder for your control, the AP also commands the trim system, and automatically trims the aircraft in pitch and roll. This feature allows smooth return to manual flight control. While the pilot-operated flight stick is mechanically connected with the flight control surfaces, the flight commands from the autopilot are transmitted electrically to the pitch and roll preservo controls. For the rudder, the AP commands directly reach the rudder servo control. While most autopilot functions are initiated from the AP panel, there are at least two DCS controls that you should bind on your hotas, the actions AP disconnect trigger, an AP disengage lever, which by default are binded to the A and P keys. Check your DCS bindings and then press spacebar to continue. The autopilot control panel allows selection of the AP modes and see their current status. Press and hold the highlighted button to test its lamps. OK, the autopilot lights are all working correctly, the highlighted knob adjusts their brightness. The Mirage Autopilot offers three basic operation modes. Attitude Hold. Automatically engaged when the autopilot is first enabled. This mode enables attitude hold, plus heading hold if the aircraft's bank is less than 10 degrees. PA illuminates when enabled. Altitude Hold, this mode keeps the aircraft at a constant ASL altitude. Pressing the Alt push button enables it. Heading Hold. Engaged by pressing cap, French for heading. The heading is set using the cap affiche knob on the right console. On the navigation indicator, the selected heading carrot will move accordingly. Press spacebar to begin practicing these basic autopilot modes. We have unpaused the mission, use the flight stick and the trim hat to attain level flight, and adjust your throttle to maintain 350 knots indicated air speed. First, on your hotas, press and hold the autopilot disconnect trigger. Good, now without releasing the trigger, press the PA push button, the red P on it should illuminate. Now release the trigger and then the autopilot will attempt to engage in attitude hold mode and, if successful, the green A should illuminate to confirm the AP engagement and the red P goes off. If unsuccessful, level the aircraft and attempt again. Once the autopilot has engaged, press spacebar to continue. The autopilot can be engaged only while flying inside a reasonable envelope, in particular, the AP won't engage at bank angles over 60 degrees, nor at pitch angles over 30 degrees. At less than 1000 feet altitude, it won't engage at speeds over 450 knots, 
between 1,000 and 20,000 feet, the maximum engagement speed rises to 650 knots. Between 20 and 36,000 the maximum engagement speed is 700 knots, and over that altitude the autopilot won't engage over Mach 2. Press spacebar to continue. To disengage the autopilot, just press the PA push button and the AP will disengage, try it. Good, now engage the autopilot again, with the procedure you just learned. Press and hold the AP disconnect trigger, next press the PA push button, then release the trigger and the AP should engage. Press spacebar once the autopilot is active. Another way to disengage the autopilot, is to press the HOTA's AP disengage lever, try it now. The autopilot disengaged, but this time the red PA light illuminated on the warnings panel, and the warning horn activated. Push on the highlighted button to acknowledge the warning. Once again, level the aircraft and engage the autopilot by press and hold the AP disconnect trigger on the hotas and then clicking the AP button. The autopilot should engage when you release the trigger. Press spacebar once the autopilot is engaged. The autopilot will also disengage if you force the flight stick on pitch or roll while the AP is engaged. Let's try it, move the flight stick a bit and then return it to center. Once again, the autopilot disengaged, and the red PA light illuminated on the warnings panel, and the warning horn activated. Push on the highlighted button to acknowledge the warning. Good, level the aircraft and engage the autopilot again. Press spacebar once the AP is engaged. Once engaged, you can adjust the autopilot attitude holds pitch and roll in two ways. On the control stick, pressing and holding the autopilot disconnect trigger will allow you to adjust the aircraft's attitude while keeping the AP on standby. Once the trigger is released, the autopilot will resume operation and keep the adjusted attitude. Try it now, press and hold the AP disconnect trigger. Good, notice the green A light has gone out. Now use the flight stick to place the aircraft on a 30 degree bank to the left or right while pulling back enough to keep the aircraft level. Now release the trigger, the green A light will illuminate again to denote that the autopilot is in control. The aircraft will begin to orbit to the left or right, if the aircraft begins to climb or dive too much, Simply press the AP disconnect trigger again and readjust the attitude until the aircraft is orbiting with a 30 degrees bank, and more or less keeping its altitude level. Press spacebar once the aircraft is orbiting to your satisfaction. The second way to adjust the aircraft's attitude is employing beep trim, which consists on using pitch and roll trim pulses which are short movements of the trim hat on the flight stick. Let's try it now, use the trim hat of your hotas to generate pitch up or down pulses, until the aircraft is orbiting perfectly level. Use the vertical speed gauge to ascertain that. A pitch pulse modifies the attitude by 0.8 degrees in pitch, while a roll pulse modifies the current heading by 2 degrees. The number of pulses is limited to plus minus 10 in pitch, and plus minus 15 in roll which translates into a maximum change in pitch attitude and heading of plus minus 8 and plus minus 30 degrees respectively. If you disengage the autopilot, the pulse counters are reset. Press spacebar once the aircraft is orbiting at a constant altitude. Press the PA button to disengage the autopilot. Use the flight stick to place the aircraft on a slight climb and wings level, in anticipation to trying the next AP mode. The autopilot alt mode maintains the barometric altitude that the aircraft had at the moment of engaging it. Follow this procedure to use it. If possible, bring the aircraft into level flight, to have a shorter delay until the commanded altitude is attained. However, for this exercise have the aircraft on a slight climb, in order to notice the leveling effect of the autopilot. Engage the autopilot on attitude hold mode, as it is a prerequisite to be able to engage the more advanced modes. Press spacebar once the AP is engaged. 
engage the altitude hold mode by depressing the alt push button, which illuminates. Do it now, but take note of the altitude you are at when pressing alt. The autopilot will level the aircraft by itself, although the commanded altitude can take up to two minutes until fully established, depending on how level the aircraft was at engagement. OK, the aircraft should now be flying level, but note that the autopilot was not able to leave the aircraft at exactly the same altitude that was commanded when pressing the ALT push button. Note that the altitude hold mode can be engaged even when on a climb or descent, without prior leveling but the stabilization time will be much longer than when initiated from fairly level flight. The AP won't engage at vertical speeds in excess of 5,000 feet per minute. Also, note that the engine power level isn't controlled by the autopilot. This means that engaging altitude hold with insufficient engine power may rapidly lead to excessively high angles of attack. Increase the throttle accordingly. Finally, it is important to note that the ALT mode can be used in conjunction with other modes. For example, you can use the AP Attitude Hold mode to place the aircraft on an orbiting attitude, and then press ALT mode to have the orbit at a constant altitude. Press the PA button to disengage the autopilot, in anticipation to trying the next autopilot basic mode. You have already been using a simpler version of Heading Hold mode, as when you first engage the autopilot with a bank under 10 degrees, the AP will level the aircraft and maintain the heading it had when engaged. You can then use beat trim left or right to fine-tune this initial heading. Now we will review the full heading hold mode, where you can designate an arbitrary magnetic heading and then the aircraft will turn by itself towards it, and then hold it until disengaged. To use it, the first step is to enter the desired heading using the cap affiche, heading index knob. This desired heading is represented on the navigation indicator with a V-index on its outer border. Try it, turn the knob until the heading index is set to 270 degrees magnetic, and press spacebar once it is set. Next, engage the autopilot on attitude hold mode, as it is a prerequisite to be able to engage the more advanced modes. Press spacebar once the AP is engaged. Engage the heading hold mode by depressing the cap push button, which illuminates, do it now. The autopilot will now turn the aircraft towards the 270 degree magnetic heading, without pilot intervention. Observe on the navigation indicator, as the heading index will move towards the top of the dial. Note that the aircraft is losing altitude, because of the bank angle that the autopilot is applying. Enable the altitude hold mode, which can be used in combination with heading hold, this will keep the aircraft at a constant altitude during the turn. Press the ALT push button. Good, the aircraft keeps turning but now it does not lose altitude. The aircraft should be now on the commanded heading and with the wings level. Congratulations, you have completed this training lesson about the autopilot's basic modes on the Mirage F1. We suggest that you continue the training syllabus by flying the training lesson on the autopilot's advanced modes which allow for radial interception and following ILS glide slopes. Press spacebar to exit the mission.